A short time ago, an American airplane dropped one bomb on Hiroshima and destroyed its usefulness to the enemy. That bomb has more power than 20,000 tons of TNT, the greatest scientific gamble in history. And we have won. What I experienced was caused by a very primitive nuclear weapon. But I thought I saw the end of Earth, end of the world. And it seemed so far away. Majority of the people today weren't even born. So I feel by sharing it, look, I personally experienced that. Monday, we were to start the very first day of our job as a full, fully qualified assistant to do the decoding. Can you imagine 13 years old girl dealing with the nation's top secret? How desperate Japan was. That shows. Early Monday morning at 8 o'clock, we started the assembly and then in the window, I saw the blinding bluish-white flush. And then, next thing, I was just floating up in the air. And when I regained the consciousness, I found myself in the total darkness and silence. I was pinned under the collapsed building. The blast just flattened everything. I tried to move my body, I couldn't. And then I started hearing my classmates around me, their faint voices. Mother, help me. God, help me. So at least I knew I was surrounded by my girlfriends. Then all of a sudden, Somebody started shaking my left shoulder from behind. Now, male voice said, of course, in the darkness, you couldn't tell who was doing it. Don't give up. Keep moving, keep pushing, keep kicking. I'm trying to loosen you. You see the sound rate coming through that opening and crawl toward it as quickly as possible. That's what I did. And by the time I came out, the building was on fire. That meant about 30 girls who were with me were burnt to death alive. That happened at 8.15 in the morning, but by the time I came out of this burning building, it was dark, perhaps because of the smoke and soot and the dirt, you know, rising up in the mushroom cloud. see some moving object coming close to me. It simply did not look like human beings. They were burned and blackened and so on. But they were so quiet. That's a strange thing I remember, the quietness. And they were just whispering. Nobody was yelling, give me water, I'm dying, or anything begging for water, please water, please. And nobody was running, yelling. We were covered with blood, but we were not badly injured, so we went to the nearby stream and washed off the blood, blood and tore the blood and soaked them in the water. And we rushed back and put it over the mouth of the dying people. That's how Hundreds of thousand people perished without any medication, no care. Maybe only the lucky ones got a little bit of moisture from us. That was hell. And I believe no human beings deserve to end life in that fashion. <laughs>